Hello, Chris with Kindly Ops here, and today I'm going to show you how to use the IAM Policy Simulator using the CLI. So, working with a lot of clients in AWS, um, we get questions about IAM, and a couple of those questions um, are how can I test my IAM policies before I deploy them? And maybe how can I validate existing uh, users, groups, or roles to make sure that they don't have certain access? Um, well, one way to do that is by using the AWS IAM Policy Simulator. And of course, you can access the, uh, the simulator over the web console. And a lot of times, that's, that might be all you need. But um, if you have a lot of policies you want to validate uh, before you deploy them, or maybe you want to automate um, something in a pipeline that will do some testing against these policies or resources, um, you're going to want to use the CLI or maybe even the API, but we won't get into the API right now. But um, let's just focus on the CLI and see how we can simulate um, a custom policy before you actually deploy it or attach it to um, uh, an IAM entity. So in this case, we have um, just a, a quick little bash script that will use the AWS CLI to uh, test a policy in JSON format. Here we have this example um, that will allow this policy to stop an instance on a specific uh, resource, on a, stopping a specific uh, EC2 instance. So we specify the policy we want to test, and then we also specify the resource that we want to test against and the specific actions. So here we're saying we want to make sure that uh, the stop instance action is tested. So we can run this or simulate the policy and we see we have a, a deny. Now why is it being denied? Well perhaps we have a typo in our policy and we can catch that before we actually deploy it. So we'll just fix it up and we can run that again and there you go. Now it's allowed. So that's an example of testing a policy before it's actually deployed um, into your account. But um, what if we want to actually validate an existing entity to see what access it has? Um, and in this case, you might want to uh, run something continuously that checks to make sure that um, certain access is denied, or maybe to check that certain access is allowed. Um, well, let's take a look at this little uh, bash script that does this using the CLI. And here we have um, uh, a principal ARN, and in this case we're going to use a user, but you can use a role or a group as well. That, that, that's already existing in an account. And we're going to pretend that this user is just an audit user, so he should only have the audit um, access, which is um, basically read on some resources. And um, we're going to see if he can describe um, uh, an instance, which he should be able to, because the audit user should be able to describe an EC2 instance. So we'll run this, <coughs> simulate the principal, and it's allowed. So it can describe the instance, right? And we, we've done that by passing in the policy source arm for this entity, saying what actions we want to test and what resource we want to test against. But let's say that um, it shouldn't be allowed to stop an instance, right? Because an audit user shouldn't be allowed to stop an instance. That's not right. And we can test that. And there you go. It's an implicit deny uh, because that existing entity does not have access to stop uh, any instances, let alone the one that we specified. So um, there's going to be a link to this example source code, and hopefully this can give you some ideas and, and help you to keep your IAM policies in good shape.